Okay, so welcome back to the Python course, uh, the introduction here. So right now I just explained to you guys what uh, what we're going to be doing in the, in this part one course. Uh, and now I'm going to try and explain to you what we will overall actually be sitting and writing in code. But first of all, we need to understand the uh, idea of setting up a pipeline for, for, for rigging. And I think this can be used for everything, also building just a regular pipeline. You kind of want to go with the same idea. So the first thing I want to try to explain to you guys is that when I started out and learned about this, I didn't quite, couldn't wrap my head around it and, and it took me a while to understand it. And don't worry if that's the same case with you. I mean, this stuff is not something that you have to understand immediately, but what I've been doing over the last couple of years is trying to f simplify everything in order to become more advanced. And I think you have to understand the basics before you can sort of like go up and do like the medium stuff and do the intermediate stuff. So in this case, I'm going to explain to you like how I think about building a pipeline and, and then uh, hopefully that will make sense to you because there's no need for you to rebuild the wheel if I've already done like the thought process of how to simplify it. Uh, hopefully this can make sense to you. So first of all, when we build a pipeline, I want you guys to think about it as we're building a car. So if you think about a car in real life, you have a car and for those who don't have a car, ever sat in a car, that would be rare, but if you haven't, uh, it's a thing a car is basically if you think about it a, a rig that you go into you sit and you drive it somewhere and you can rotate the wheels and you can do all this stuff so it is basically just a it's an asset with wheels so it's an asset with a rig right uh, and the way we have to think about that is it's the same thing with a pipeline we have a rig so a rig in this case the, imagine that the car is our rig right what's what's making up a car uh, you need screws, you need plates, you need gears, bolts so basically all these small parts these really really small parts that we can sort of like boil it down to are the screws, the plates, the gears, everything. It's basically the DNA of the car, right? It's, it's, it's as low as we need to go in order for us to build something. But in a car, you can't just go from a screw to a car. You need, uh, you need to convert those things. You need to combine those things into becoming, you know, anything from a wheel, an engine, seats, anything like that. So first of all, you got the DNA, you got the screws, the plates, and you convert those things. So if we uh, have some screws and we have some, some, um, some let's see some some plates and we have some maybe we have some rubber then we can create a wheel right so with these things we can create a wheel I mean some bolts so all these things we use in a wheel and maybe we use uh, the same thing here to go into you know and for for seat to an engine and for seats we need some cloth so all these like simplified things all these singular things becomes a thing that's combined of of our functions right so our screws and all that stuff and once we have a wheel, we can combine that into like, we need a wheel, we need an engine, we need seats. But say that I, say that I wanted a Segway, I didn't need, a, I, need, I didn't need some seats. I just needed a plate I could stand on. I need a wheel and I need a kind of engine inside that thing. So I could use this. So in these things, I would only take these two things, right? And build that into a Segway. So if you think about that in that way, so the smart thing about this becomes clear in a second. So the reason why we want to boil things down into modules. Um, so once you think about a pipeline, I'm going to clean this out now. So let's say that we think about a pipeline, how that works. So in a pipeline, we have um, a, some scripts that are the that are the, the the DNA of our characters. So that'll be like all the math, all the renaming of any any objects that we're creating, making controls, basically the core of our scripts. You know things that can work. That can't work singularly you know you can't use a control that's not connected to anything but we can we can use a control to create an arm for instance so in this case let's say that um, we have a control and we have um, we're gonna build let's try and add something here so let's say we build an IK uh, between between three joints that's as some of you know so you need you need three joints to build an IK arm so or leg so in this case uh, I would probably take these things and then I would combine them with um, to each other to create an arm and it's the same way where we build the wheel so we and with the wheel we had some bolts and we had that so in this case we're going to take the control right so let's go here so if we take the controls and we need some we need to rename some objects and maybe we need some math maybe we need some vector math to put our pole vector for the arm and we need to create the ik handle and all that will make a an arm and it'll be the same thing for making a leg but in case of um let's say hands, I probably don't need IK for the hands, at least not for the basics. So I wouldn't need the IK, but I would definitely need a control and I would need some, you know, some renaming. So all these like functionalities goes into these things. So all these little bits and pieces, these DNA objects 
becomes into an ARM and a module. And as you can see, um, or as you can probably guess, those things, when we combine these things, can become into creatures, props, characters, whatever. <clears throat> so say that we, but the cool, uh, and say that, say that I need to make a creature, right? And uh, I would have like a horse leg here. So, you know, horse legs are obviously different because they got um, uh, joint placements a little bit different. You know, they walk around basically on their hooves, which would be, you know, the start of the metacarpals. So, um, uh, so in that case, you know, we'd have a specific horse leg that can be on the leg group. But say that I needed to build a creature and that creature would be, um, let's say here, that creature would be, sorry, let's try and make that a little bit, <laughs> it's not so pretty, but hopefully it makes sense. So there would be a centaur. Uh, so in that case, you know, because we already build all our arms, our legs, our wings and all that stuff, we have them all in modules, like build up. Uh, what we need to do is just combine them differently. So in a character, we need arm, legs, spine, you know, anything there. But if say that we needed to build a creature, I mean, a creature is um, a creature like a centaur is a good example because it would basically need, you know, it would need arms and it would need legs, but I don't really need a regular leg. I can combine that with my horse legs. Because that's how a centaur walks. It still need fingers. It still need hands. It doesn't need wings. So I don't need that. But basically, I would collect all these things for my modules tab. So I'd have a module for like basically any any limb, right? Or uh, I wouldn't exactly say to stick only with the limbs, but you know, it can also be eyes or you know, head controllers or anything like that. So so a head would also be under here, an eye, or maybe you can have like the whole head as one module. Uh, that's sort of up to you, like how you want to divide your modules. But to simplify it, it can be arm, legs, and all that stuff. Think about it that way. And that's how it also starts, like build an arm, build a leg, build, you know, a tail. And then learn how to combine those things inside your rigs. And, you know, as soon as you combine them into different things, you you realize that your world is expanding a lot faster because you already have these basic, you know, functions and modules prepared. Um, and once we get started, and now I'm just going to quickly tell you guys how, how it's going to work in this course. So once we get started, the part one is going to be like an introduction to how I'm just quickly going to show you how to source in scripts, how to open up libraries. Um, and as soon as we've understood that, we're going to build like a really basic, very, very ugly uh, arm rig. So it's going to be, I, would, I wouldn't recommend anybody to ever rig that way. I'm going to script it, but it's going to show you guys how I'm sort of like manipulating, you know, the scripts in between each other. And the first thing we're going to do is just build a module, uh, module script where we're going to keep uh, all this math and control into our into our modules, which means that I'll, inside the same script, inside the same script of this arm that I'm going to be writing with you guys, um, I'm going to have my math. I'm going to have my controls. But in later on, we're going to divide these in. So this will these three three topics here will become like a, our our library folders so these things will be um, so these things would end up being different folders right um, so we'd have a function folder we'd have a module folder we'd have a rig folder and inside those these are the scripts right so these are the different kinds of scripts we would have So we have a, a naming script, but because there's so many different ways that we can name stuff, maybe we just want to name a singular object. Maybe we want to make it uh, name a chain of objects. Uh, same thing with math. So I would have like one script called naming.py or something like that. So dot Python. And then I would have a, py uh, a, a math module where we maybe have some vector math. We can have some power math. We can have any kind of math that we kind of need. And then we have a control. So we can have a singular control or we can have a control that is being created on our selection on, on a specific object. So we can give it the name of that object and then create a controller on that object. Um, so all these things will be, you know, um, will be a script. So all these, all these names that are here will basically be different kinds of scripts. They'll all be one script. And then we're going to start, you know, figuring out how we're going to source that into these into these different things. And at the end, we're going to source. So we source and this might be a little bit confusing right now, but hopefully it'll make sense as soon as we get into it. So we basically source all these scripts right into one of these. Any, any of these modules that we have and then we source these things into these things here. Right. Or like that and this is why it's so powerful so you can see like I'm drawing so many lines here because the, co the combination this way is 
is so massive like there's so many ways we can do it we can even inside our rig if we just need like a singular controller i can even take this controller and just dump it directly here by importing this particular script i can import that into maybe my character script over here or i can import it into any of the other things so overall all these things in the green boxes are the scripts and the green box themselves are folders but in the beginning we're going to keep everything into this arm uh, and then after that I'm gonna start like dividing stuff out and then you'll see like how it becomes more and more advanced So if you don't understand everything in the beginning try and go back to this chart and see okay, what's he doing? Um, I'll try and like Keep it updated and say like okay now I'm gonna try and divide these things out and, and think about it this way But now you get like the overall bulk idea. So yeah, let's get into it instead of talking about it It's way more fun to just sit and, and actually start working. So um, and we do I do believe in learning on the job. So even though uh, everything uh, might be confusing in the beginning, then you know stick in for it because it'll make sense later and it will up your workflow multiple times. So uh, yeah, good luck, guys.